Kia ora koutou and welcome to the adventures of Robin Hood in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for one to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. Despair has come to Nottingham. King Richard is away on the Crusades and his brother Prince John is taking advantage. Corruption and strife rack the land, aided by the Sheriff of Nottingham and his right hand Guy of Gisborne. You are Robin of Loxley, recently returned from the Crusades and seeking to right these wrongs. Each adventure in the game requires Robin and his band to complete an objective noted in the storybook. All players lose if time runs out and the objective has not been completed. Narrative. You will read encounters from the storybook to advance the game. Bag building. You will add different game objects to the bag and draw them out again. Player turn. You can play Adventures of Robin Hood as soon as you unbox it. The game is designed to teach you the rules as you go along, but if you want to know the basics, keep watching. In the bag, you will have multiple colored discs. Draw one out. The green one indicates it's Robin Hood's turn. The gray and white ones give bonus actions to the heroes, and the purple and red ones are for the baddies. On a player turn, you can move using these movement markers. Place them one at a time so they connect, and then place your second meeple at your final destination. If you do not use your long movement marker, add a white cube to the bag. If you end your movement beside a tile on the board with a question mark, you can investigate it. Turn to the page number in the book shown on the board, and then check what adventure you are on, and go to the relevant entry and follow the instructions. Once you have used an encounter, flip it over to show that. On the map, some areas are in shadow, and others are in the open. Here Robin is in the open, and Will Scarlet, the teal player, is in the shadows. If you share a clearing with guards and nobles, and one of the bad guy discs is drawn, you might be captured, and that will lose morale. If morale gets too low, the game timer will advance faster. As your action, you may attack guards and nobles. Draw up to three cubes, one at a time from the bag. If you draw a white cube, stop drawing, the guard is defeated. And you claim the bonus shown underneath them. Flip the guard over and place a time marker on them. The purple marker will add more purple cubes to the bag, and the red marker will activate guards and advance the timer. Once all discs have been drawn from the bag, place them back and begin a new round. Why would you like this game? Wholesome is a word I would use to describe the adventures of Robin Hood. It's not a grim dark adventure, but a classic romp through the tropes of Robin of Sherwood. The Sheriff of Nottingham is the bad guy, and so is Guy Gisborne, and Robin, Marion, Will Scarlet, and Little John are the goodies. The game comes with a tutorial and eight other missions, which if you play the game again, you can flip this marker over and use new encounters in the book. The story writing is a bit hokey, but it's perfectly appropriate to the theme and complexity of the game. The clearing and shade system is super immersive and makes you feel like you are sneaking around the map. All said and done, this is an excellent game for a family to play or anyone who wants a fun storytelling game unburdened by complex mechanics. Uh, best thing about this game is the board design and the flip over markers. It's both innovative and a lot of fun to play around with. However, if you want an RPG with min-maxing, character development and loot, this one won't be for you. In fact, the mechanics are very simple, and if you have a mechanical focus as a gamer, this one will likely miss for you as well. Like story games will want something way darker? Try Tainted Grail. And for a wholesome blend of story and worker placement, try Above and Below. Robin Hood needs more tuck. Three Minute More Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.